Could you imagine being in a movie had this many cuts in one? Well, folks, that's where you get Taken 3. So Taken 3 was a movie I saw and immediately regretted it because it, oh my gosh, it was such a bad movie. So I noticed how cheesy the dialogue was at the beginning of the movie and then the one thing that caught my eye right afterwards was when they start doing a bunch, a bunch of their scenes, they cut like about a billion times in one scene like they were out of every action scene in this movie you literally see this is happening gun do and then cut and cut and cut and cut and cut and cut and it's like oh my gosh you don't need to cut this many this is what I like to call bad action filmmaking it's where you decide you want to cut about a billion times just to make it feel like something is going on in the scene when there's really nothing much happening. Guys, if you really thought Taken 3 was going to be any good, I feel ashamed for you because obviously you didn't see Taken 2, so that there's no way you would have known that Taken 3 was going to be bad. Or you saw Taken 2 and you didn't learn that this probably isn't going to be a good movie considering it's directed by the same exact person as I'm just gonna shorten this view I I'm gonna I'm gonna name a few more bad things and I'm just gonna wrap this review up because I really didn't want to review this movie I didn't even really want to watch it I watched it just to see and it's worse than Taken 2 oh my gosh I didn't think I'd ever say that about any movie ever except unless like except for all the other bad ones but anyway guys like taken through it just has some really stupid scenes they cut way too much in every action scene Boris Whitaker's like ooh string rubber band I look smart when I do this and I have a chess piece and I'm tipping it over and I and I think I know what I'm doing then Liam Neeson no one's getting taken in this movie by the way um, and Liam Neeson, like, gets with his group of buddies, and then one of them dies. So, spoiler, I guess, but really, you weren't going to see this movie anyway. Well, the one of them is shot, at least. And it's like, oh, his wife's, his ex-wife's husband is actually the one that's bad the whole time. It was never this one guy at the beginning of the movie, ever. It was always him, and I wasn't surprised at all, actually. I mean... You couldn't have made it more obvious, really. And, by the way, guys, in case you don't know, this is about Liam Neeson. He's accused of his wife's murder, and then he goes on the run to try and um, prove his innocence. And, in case you don't know, that is the exact same plot to the movie called, came back... A movie that came out, like, 1990s, I think, sometime. It was called The Fugitive, and it was the exact same thing. But it was better than it was better than Taken Three. That's for dang sure. And another thing that was really stupid is it's like you know how they you had the scene in Taken Two that was really bad, and where his daughter literally is grabbing grenades out of his suitcase, throwing them on rooftops so that Liam Neeson can hear the explosion to see how far away he is from the hotel. Not only is this probably one of the stupidest scenes I've ever seen in a movie, but there's an even stupider one in this one. Can you believe it? Oh, in this movie there is a scene where Liam Neeson's daughter is about to get taken off of, and he's she's getting taken by the his ex-wife's husband, duh, because he's the bad guy, and he's they're on a plane, they're about to take off. Liam Neeson is driving at full speed on his car to get to the plane, and he does probably the stupidest thing I've ever seen anyone do in a scene ever. He literally swerves the car so that he hits the wheel on the landing gear of the plane and almost crashes the plane, almost completely crashes the plane that his daughter is on. 
Think about that for a second. I was and last year Liam Neeson was in a movie called Nonstop. He's also in a really good movie I saw last year called Walking on the Tombstones. I put in my honorable mentions for the best movie of the year, and those movies are good. This movie was just pure stupidity. I don't even know what the director was smoking when he made this movie, but guys, you should not see this movie. This movie is you shouldn't even watch it. That's my rating. You should not even watch it. Not even illegally. Don't watch this movie. Please. Don't watch this movie. It is terrible. Liam Neeson's not even really that good in it. And that's like the whole selling point for this whole entire movie. So guys, I just, I'm urging you not to watch this movie. And as always guys, thank you for watching and I am out.